Good morning, my dear students. I hope all of you are fine and healthy. In the last session, we have done exercise 15.1. Now I told you to complete some of the questions from the exercise. I hope all of you got the solutions. Still, if you have doubt, please get back to me. Today, I am going to discuss about trapezium. Means how to find the area of a trapezium, and also how to find the area of general quadrilateral. Okay. Then let's start our today's session. This is trapezium. What is a trapezium? You see the definition that uh, a quadrilateral, which is one of the opposite pair is parallel. One of the opposite pair is parallel. Here you can see these are the opposite pair. Correct? They are parallel DC and AB, and two sides are they are non-parallel. They are called non-parallel sides. Here AD and BC. Means if you find one of the opposite pair is parallel, like that figure is called a trapezium. So how to find the area of trapezium? To find the area of trapezium, you have to you need to use this formula. Area of trapezium is equal to half into sum of the this this is parallel symbol of parallel line. So sum of the parallel sides into height. That means half into sum of the parallel sides. You can find the parallel sides are here AB and DC. So AB plus DC. Into height. Height means the distance between the two parallel lines is called. We can say height here. The distance between the two parallel sides. This DC and AB. Here I am taking the distance between them. Suppose H. This is the height. You can see. Suppose DM. The DM is what H I am taking. This is the height. The distance between the two parallel lines. So area of trapezium equal to half into sum of the parallel sides into height. So understood the formula? Okay. Clear. Now. Area of general quadrilateral. Suppose you are having a quadrilateral, no special. It's not a special type of quadrilateral. Nothing. I mean, it cannot. It is not given like it is a parallelogram, square, and thing. It's a quadrilateral. Means it has four sides. Suppose A, B, C, D. Here you need to find out by using this formula. Area of general quadrilateral. Area of quadrilateral A, B, C. Half into diagonal into sum of the lengths of perpendiculars. Means if you draw perpendicular on A, C. And also from the opposite vertex DP on AC. I mean, the both the perpendiculars are on the same diagonal. Okay. Then we have to use half into diagonal sum of the lengths means of the perpendicular. That means half into diagonal sum of lengths of the perpendicular means BN plus DP in case of general quadrilateral. I hope all of you understood these two formula. What we have discussed. Yes. So now we have to use this to solve exercise 15.2. Some of the questions are given in exercise 15.2. We need to solve by using this formula. Here, question number one. This is question number one. The sum of two parallel sides of trapezium is 50 cm. Try to understand, my dear students. The sum of two parallel sides of a trapezium is 50 cm, and the perpendicular distance between them is 11 cm. Find the area of the trapezium. Without drawing the diagram, also you can solve this type of questions. But for your better understanding, I am trying to give you the diagram. Don't need to draw the, draw the diagram. If you want to draw, it's okay, no problem. That means you are having a trapezium. Suppose this is the trapezium. It is given here the sum of the two parallel sides. Means sum of these two sides. Sum of this is the parallel side. Is how much? 50 centimeter. And the perpendicular distance. I already, I have shown you this. The distance between two perpendicular. So distance between two parallel line. Distance between two parallel lines is height. Is this how much? They have given 11. Find the area of the trapezium. Okay. So we have sum. Sum means sum of the two parallel sides. 50 centimeter height. That is distance between them. Is how much? Distance between them means distance between the two parallel sides. How much? 11 centimeter. Okay. So area equal to half into sum of the parallel side into height. Sum of the parallel side is given in the question 50 
into height also they have given the question 11 so half into 50 into 11 if you cut this 50 by 25 means 225 is a 50 so 25 into 11 that will give you 275 centimeters understood okay next question number two the area of a trapezium is 450 centimeter square sorry sorry yes correct the area of a trapezium is 450 centimeter square I thought it's 350 okay it is 450 centimeter square and the length of the parallel sides are 37 centimeter and 23 centimeter find the distance between them this time one need to find out first try to understand the question if I draw a diagram then you will understand easily the area of the trapezium the area of the trapezium is given 450 length of the parallel sides are 37 and 23 so this one is longer this is 37 and this one is 23 length of the parallel side one is 37 and another is 23 find the distance between them means you need to find out the height you need to find out the distance find out this distance understood so we have area is equal to 450 centimeter square so what you can write the formula half into sum of the parallel side into height is equal to 450 this is the area of the trapezium the formula of area of the trapezium I have written here in the place of area and this side what 450. Now put the values, sum of the parallel side, sum of the parallel side in the previous question they have given directly the sum but this time they have not given it. They have given sides are separately like 37 and 23 it's no problem we can find the sum. So 37 plus 23 into height. So this height means find the distance between them means we need to find out the height 450. 37 plus 23 is 60 into h is equal to how much 450. Next, half into 60 into 8 is equal to 450. So, 230 is a 60. So, 30 is equal to 450. If it tends for 30 on the right hand side, it will divide. Then, 0, 0 cancel. 315 is a 45. So, A is equal to 15 centimeters. That means distance between them is 15 centimeters. Clear, my dear students? Next, the area of a trapezium is 156 centimeters square. If one of the parallel sides is 9 cm and the distance between them is 12 cm, find the length of the other parallel side. In this question, they have given, suppose this is a trapezium. I already told you, no need to draw the diagram. For your understanding, I am ex explaining through this. The area of a trapezium, it is given how much? The area of this 156 cm square or square centimeter you can write. If one of the parallel side is 9 these are the two parallel side one of the parallel side they have given how much nine suppose this is nine this side is nine any side you can take and distance between them is 12 this distance they how much they have given height 12 then find the length of the other parallel side means this time they have given the area one of the parallel side and height we need to find out the other parallel side this one suppose i am taking this one as x that is why I have written, let the length of the other parallel side be x. So we have area is equal to how much? 156. So write that formula here. Half into sum of the parallel sides into height is equal to 156. Half into sum of the parallel side, one side is 9 and the other side is x. So I have written 9 plus x into 12 is equal to 156. Clear? Now in the next line you can cut it 2, 6 are 12. Yes, then what is left? 6 into 9 plus x is equal to 156. See, 6 into 9 plus x is equal to 156. Then 6 nines are 54. 6 into x, 6x is equal to 156. If you transfer 54 on the right hand side, it will be 156 minus 54, that is 102. Correct? Now 6 into x, 6x is equal to 102. If you transfer 6 on the right hand side, it will divide. Means 102 divided by 66, 670 is a 1, 670 is a 102. That means you got the length of the other parallel side is 70 centimeters. Clear? See, dear students, in this uh, exercise, you find all the questions are easy. Okay, now three questions we have discussed and all the related with, all the questions are related with trapezium. Just what you have to know, you have to know about the area of the trapezium and how to find the area, like what are the things are, what you have to see, what are the important things are there, like two parallel sides, then 
distance between them height that means yes or no these things you have to know okay so what do you do please try this question question number 4 5 and 6 at home question number 4 5 and 6 please try these three questions in case any doubt please get back to me question number 4 5 and 6 1 2 and 3 i have done so please try yourself question number 4 5 and 6 and please write this write down this question and answers in your class copy okay thank you god bless you all